Three, two, one, go. Hello, 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 America. It is me, Hans Adlen, and I got some updates on a few subjects. First off, the Titan Submersible. First off, that is very depressing. They lied to us for about a week, saying that there was hope that they might have some oxygen left, and that there was baning that they heard on the seafloor, but by Thursday or Friday or Wednesday, they admitted, oh, nope, they died. As soon as they reached a certain depth on, f on Sunday e evening, the entire thing crushed, into, crushed them into pace. And they lied about it for almost a week. Why? I have a theory about why they lied about, you know, uh, lied about the submarine for almost a week. Simple. They wanted to run a week-long story about a tragic event that have some hope in it for views. They wanted the views because they have nothing else to report. Apparently. But one of the guys who was supposed to be in the sub backed out last minute. I heard about this from like an old Russian story about about a few hikers going on a path to, towards uh, some sort of mountain, but one of the one of the uh, young communists had some knee pain and then he had to retreat back to base. Something about Zilatov's path, I can't pronounce Russian. But it's kind of like that. But that guy might have survivor's guilt now. Like it happens. But people were making fun of it. And yes, they, they were rich people, but they still had human souls. And between you and me, Republican or Democrat, no one deserves to literally have your bones, your organs stressed into a paste and become seafood. But at least the ghosts from the Titanic have some new friends, apparently. But still, my heart goes out to the families of the victims. And I don't want to see any jokes about it, because that is fucking terrifying. Like seriously, especially if you are Especially if you have, if you have philosophobia, you know, the fear of the ocean, that is terrifying. Okay? Now, next subject. Surprise, surprise, France is now on fire! Again! Macron and his cronies keep fucking things up! And now people are resorting to riding again, but only with buses and trucks ramming it into stores and stealing all of the pointless goods from them and the police having to disperse like the army in trucks and armored vehicles shooting them down because things are about to get even worse in France. But of course, you don't see any Napoleon Bonaparte there. Why? To be honest, I think that might be a good thing. I mean, the last time a, a Bonaparte did something in France, it led to war. Now, if you start hearing Asaya, Asaya, Asaya in, in the streets of Paris, around a government building, with pitchforks and spears, and then in the distance you see some sort of guillotine like structure rolling towards your way, I would not want to be Macron in that situation. But beyond that, SCOTUS, the Supreme Court, have just overturned some, yeah, three things really. The first one was that affirmative action thing, where apparently they were only accepting black people into colleges while kicking out or not even thinking about the Asian Americans, or native Asians, wanting to, wanting to go to college. And the Democrats are calling that racist. I thought it was racist before, you know, excluding a certain race based on their skin color and nationality. 
If anything, this helps with diversity. You know, no longer will people have to be, you know, put into groups based on the race in order to get a step up in the in the workforce. So now in college, anyone with enough brain power, sorry AOC, you might have to do better than your kindergarten graduation. <laughs> but no, seriously. This law will help so many people now. Because not only will it you know, exclude you know, bias upon race, it will also make sure that people will get in by merit. Only by merit. Which means Latinos, Asians, also blacks. People are saying that this gives blacks less opportunities. That to me, that is racist. Saying that, that black people can no longer get into college now is very racist. Because apparently, you think that they're too stupid to go into college now. Why? I think black people are just as smart as white people, or, or Asian people, or Latino people. Unlike Joe Biden, who thinks the opposite, saying that rich kids are just as smart as, you know, something about poor kids, white kids, even though white kids can be poor too, that's pretty stupid. But then again, the man said Joe can't even know what year it is, or what war we're in. But to go back on subject, the second one was that Christian thing, or Catholic thing. A few years back, a Catholic, or I think it was, I think it was a Christian baker, denied baking a cake for a gay couple because the gay couple wanted a bit of flan for a wedding cake, and the baker politely said. No. But what did the gays do? They went all the way to the bloody Supreme Court in order to get their dick cake. Even though there was like a hundred other bakers on that bloody street alone that could have done it. Because they were offended and triggered even though they could have just went out of the store, go across the street, and go to a different baker. End of story. But the third one is the biddy. For like, I don't know, like the eighth time so far, the Supreme Court said no to Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness debt thing. It's hard to tell what he even says nowadays, but the whole thing he tried to do for the 2020 election saying that, and I quote, I think it's hard to quote a man who is barely quotable, but he basically said, listen, Jack, let me, hey, listen, I'm gonna, if I'm, if I'm in the Senate, I'm, I'm, if, if I'm in the, if I'm in the, pre if I'm a president, I'm gonna cancer student loan debt, and I'm, I'm gonna kill cancer, and I'm gonna build a, a road to Ireland so I can get the rainbows from the unicorns, and man, I'm gonna, I'm on a, I'm on with the things with the ice cream, you know. Listen, Jack, I, I once fought for General Hammond in Abraham Lincoln's cabinet with Teddy Roosevelt. Man, I, I did. Uh, uh, and then that's when they shoved them off the the camera and put Kamala there, even though she is a word salad impersonated. But to get back on subject. That means that somebody who already paid off their debts, say, 30 years ago, doesn't have to do it for a second time. For somebody who wasted that money on weed, ramen noodles, macaroni and cheese, and like, and like $10,000 butts. Which to me is stupid. Why would you pay $10,000 for the same book you can get at the library for like 99.99% off from the, uh, from the college loan book. 
Now, uh, we all know this is not the end of it. Next week, there will be a different story, more drama, more violence, more bullshit coming from both sides. And yes, I said both sides because some Republicans are dumbasses. You know, the rhinos who are very stupid. And, and of course, we're going to get something from AOC, from this Democrat, from this rhino, yada yada yada. And but this is the most stupidest one yet. In New York City, you know, the same New York City that had like a literal dust cloud covering the entire city, is now trying to ban pizza ovens that use wood, you know, old fashioned wood baked ovens, like from the Italian side. Because of climate change. That's stupid. Okay, I'm just going to end it there. First, actually, first they wanted to ban glass cars, then glass stove, and now they want to ban wood burning stoves because it hurts the environment. Oh yes, sir. Not the little forest fires from Canada that literally made it so you can't even go outside. Well, it feels like you're smoking an entire carton of cigarettes in just the first minute that I saw it. It looked like something from a sci-fi movie. And people are pissed off about that because there's one thing that can unite all New Yorkers. <coughs> their love of pizza. New York pizza. And once you touch that, that is a whole can of worms I am not going to open. Because I don't really care for New York as a whole, really. The people are, are fine, it's just that the whole New York City area... Yeah, no, I'd rather stick in, I'd rather stick in, in my state, okay? I'm just gonna say it there. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoy. Have a nice day, America. This is the Hans Glutenberg Show, signing off.